my beauty family, welcome back to my channel. For those who is new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also, follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. Today we're gonna do an unboxing video. We're gonna unbox my September 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. You know guys that I'm doing this video every month and I must tell you guys that a lot of products that I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus per whole day subscription time just became my holy grail products, you know? And I didn't realize it till I didn't take a look on my makeup that I'm using basically every day and I noticed that a lot of them I wouldn't even try on by myself if I haven't received them in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is like insane to think about. So I'm really excited to check out today's products, guys. So at first I want to show you guys all the products I received and we're gonna decide, guys, what we're gonna try on first. And I'm really, really excited. So let's jump straight into the unboxing. So here's the bag that we received. Honestly, guys, when I took a look at this bag, I'm like, that's not my favorite bag from Ipsy Box. I must tell you that. The design is really interesting. It's something I'm not used to. It's something that I don't particularly find attractive. But it's just not my type. What do you guys think about this design? Do you like it? Is there someone who's like, really, really love this? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be really happy to know this, guys. And let's see what's inside. So first of all, there's a card that's called Back to Work, School and Life. Yes, guys, finally. You know what? A few days ago, I met at my job mother and daughter and the baby girl is going to the second grade. And mother told me that because of this whole quarantine stuff, her daughter missed first grade at school and she missed like a half of the year of kindergarten. And I'm like, shoot, first year at school. It's like the most exciting part. You know what I mean? It's just so sad that we have to go through such a difficult time, but you know, hopefully everything will come back to normal. Right now it's kind of getting to the point when, you know, life is coming back. So I'm really excited to check out the products from this month's theme that's called Back to Work, School and Life. Okay guys, so we got here Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten. Next product is Misho, Miss You Beauty. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but this is a lip balm. Next one is a lip gloss from Nabla, and I wanted to check out this brand for so long. I'm so excited. This is an Italian brand, and I wanted to give it a shot for so long. I was looking at their palettes for pretty long time, so I'm excited about that. Next one is Oma Beauty and their liquid eyeliner. And guys, I'm kind of excited to check out new liquid liners because I'm all about cat's eye. I'm all about really, really nice, precise wings. And the last product we received here is from Il Maquillage. This is Color Boss Squad. This is basically a shadow palette. And I got the shade Make Moves. So I'm excited. So I was able to choose three different products out of the list that Ipsy gave me and products from Il Maquillage and Oma Beauty were given me without choice to choose and I'm excited. Come on guys, a shadow palette and liquid liner. That's like the main ingredients for an amazing eye look. I love it. Okay guys, so I'm thinking that we need to start probably from an eyeshadow palette, right? Because there are two lip products, liquid liner, blush. Yeah, let's jump into creating some look. And here's the eyeshadow palette. The packaging is stunning. It's just stunning. But what I hate in this type of packagings, despite of the fact that they look so luxurious and everything about them, like the feeling that they give me, just luxury feelings, you know what I mean? But... Mm, my fingerprints are all over the packaging and it's always like that. You remember I showed you my Hourglass The Ambient palette that I was literally using all the freaking time? Finally, I took a break. But I'm gonna come back to the product soon again because there are like three different products and I love them so much. The formula, oh, it's so good. But every time when I wanted to show you this packaging, it just... 
It was covered with my fingerprints. I hate this so much, but I love the packaging. It literally feels luxurious. And here, guys, the shades that we're getting. They look really beautiful. Look at those. I'm already thinking about the look I want to create. So this palette retails for $36. And the packaging is kind of like a magnet. By the way, guys, I don't remember in what box I got my Il Maquillage mascara, but it became my go-to mascara, believe it or not. So right now I'm using three different mascaras when I'm creating kind of everyday type of look. I love voluminous lashes and my lashes are so weird. They need like almost like different formulas, different formulas, different applicators. So this one really good for creating type of really long lashes and it just it's so good i'm using this literally every day and i'm so excited that i received this so so far my first impression from the whole brand il maquillage is really really good and based on the look of these shadows i feel like it's gonna be really really settled formula but i think we will be able to create an amazing look based on what i see right now so let's not waste our time and let's jump straight into creating our eye look Guys, I washed all my brushes yesterday. I was a really, really good girl, so we have so many brushes to play with because recently I was working like all the time and I didn't have time and I was... Okay, I had time, but I was too lazy to wash all my brushes and finally yesterday I got the time to do this. And I want to start creating our eye look from this shade that's called Mood. Oh wow, guys, they are so creamy. Well, let's see how they look on our eyelids. This shade I'm gonna blend all over the eyelid and it's gonna be our transition shade. And also I want it to be kind of noticeable because we have just four different shades. Two of them are matte formulas. So I'm just basically applying this all over our eyelid. I love the color payoff. I'm so impressed how creamy they are. It's almost impossible to get them on a brush and it's just something that I didn't expect to see, honestly. Just because we have four shades, it's so easy to know what's gonna go next after this shade because we have two shimmers, two mattes. So next I'm gonna use this dark shade, it's called Clapback. And I'm gonna take blending brush from MAC Cosmetics that looks like that. And I'm gonna apply this to my outer portion. Then when there is less of the product left on the brush, I'm gonna buff it around my crease area. And I'm gonna just build the color. And then I'm buffing this shade out. Next I'm gonna go over with my previous blending brush. And let's do the same with our left eye. Next, I'm gonna do the same to my lower lash line, starting with the brighter shade. Okay guys, so far everything is blending amazingly. So now I'm gonna use this shade and apply this to our inner portion of the eyelid. All shades are so freaking creamy. I didn't expect it at all. So I'm using my finger like always and I'm just 
pressing this sheet to our inner portion. Oh wow, isn't it something? I didn't use any concealer, it's just literally my finger and this shade on the top of those mattes. Wow! Next I'm gonna apply this shade and this is gonna be the shade of our center of the eyelid. I'm using my finger again. Next I'm gonna use that blending brush that we were using with the darkest shade and I'm gonna blend the outer portion. Okay, and what do you think, guys? I loved this formula. It's so hard to get fallouts from these eyeshadows. They are so freaking creamy, it's almost hard to apply them with a brush. The formula is amazing, and the color payoff, come on, it's stunning. Next, I want to try this Oma Beauty Cleopatra Ink Liquid Liner that retails for $18. I've never tried this brand, honestly. And I've heard about this so many times and I saw it at Ulta, so I'm excited. We have a shade here that's called Blacker Than Black You All. So this is supposed to be smudge proof and water resistant liner, vegan, fragrance free, and also it's supposed to last long. And here's the tip. It's tiny, but still it's really fat. Hopefully it will not split on me because I've seen tips like that before, but I'm excited to give it a chance. So let me try to create beautiful wings that will go with this eye look using this Oma Beauty Cleopatra Ink Liner. So far guys, I really like how it's working. I'm really satisfied. The shade is here, the color is here, uh, the applicator is really comfortable to use, so, so far, so good. Okay, guys, so far, I'm really, really happy with the result. I like how this liner works. If you're expecting this brush to be really soft, you will not get this, because it's a tough one. But even though it's a different type of brush, I'm really, really happy with the result because it works nicely, color is here, and so far so good. Next, guys, let me use my mascara from Il Maquillage and let me apply a few coats of this mascara and then we will do falsies. And for our falsies, I'm gonna use today Ardell 3D Lashes. Next, I'm gonna use concealer and clean my area under the brow. Next, I'm gonna highlight my inner corners using this shade. Okay, guys, I'm just in love with our eye look today, so next I want to apply bronzer. And next, let's check out this Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten that looks like that. Honestly, guys, if you were watching my another unboxing video, last month I was unboxing my BoxyCharm and I received in that box an eyeshadow palette from Laura Geller. So, long story short, I actually told you guys that I will not be reaching for this palette because I wasn't happy with the color payoff, everything was just 
But in that day, when I went to work, I got so many compliments about my eye look that I started to think, maybe I should give it a second chance, I don't even know. I mean, everything about that palette just felt kind of cheap, so maybe I will give it a second chance since I got so many compliments. But anyway, I'm here not to judge. I want to check this product out really badly. Here's the packaging. And here's how this blush looks. It's so stunning. I love, love, love baked formula. It's always so nice looking. It's kind of giving me hourglass baking blush vibe, you know what I mean? Or if we're going to the drugstore, Melani baked powder blush that I really, really love. I have a shade Tropic Hues. And this blush retails for $28. Love the shades here. Can't wait to check this out, honestly, guys. So I'm gonna take my Clean Mac brush and let's give it a chance. Oh shoot, how beautiful it is! Wow! It's blending so nicely. Oh wow, I love it! Love it so much. The texture is so creamy. It's blending nicely. It's like buttery cream formula. It's kind of illuminating, but because I have really pale skin, it's showing still like a blush, but like really natural looking blush. You know what I mean? There is no glitter. It's really settled. It's super healthy looking. So far, I really, really like it. It literally made my skin look really, really smooth and flushed. So I'm excited to use this blush again. Maybe in one of my next videos, I will use this blush together with that palette from Laura Geller that I kind of didn't really like. If you want me to give that palette a second chance, please let me know in the comments down below and I will happily do this for you guys. And next, I have here two lip products. First one is from Nabla and as I already said, I really wanted to check out this brand. This is Shine Theory Lip Gloss in the shade RSVP. Let me show you guys the packaging. Look at that. How stunning is that? It retails for $15. Also, it's vegan and cruelty-free. Wow, the shade is insanely yummy. Look at this beauty. Isn't it stunning? So let's apply this lip gloss on our lips. Wow, guys, look at this shade. Isn't it something? It's so freaking stunning. I'm literally falling in love with this color and with this formula. And I don't want to say that I'm insanely in love with this. Just because I want it to sit for a little bit on my lips and we will see. Will this shine stay at least for a few minutes? Or it will change into a really, really settled shimmer or something like that? You know how sometimes lip glosses do. So let me real fast apply my highlighter and set my face. And I think that it's going to be enough time for us to see how this lip gloss looks after a few minutes. Okay guys, so it's been a few minutes. I took a tiny break because I needed some water. My throat was dry, so I came back. What can I tell you about this lip gloss from Nabla? It's really comfortable on the lips. It feels really nice. It's not sticky at all. But that fact that it's really, really pigmented kind of has its own disadvantages, you know what I mean? Because you need to make sure that you're spreading the pigment, the actual pigment, not just lip gloss all over your lips. It's probably gonna be an amazing topper, but by itself, if you have some lips cracks, like your lips are dry and this pigment gonna go inside and lip gloss is gonna stay on the top. At first, when you're applying this, everything looks just flawless but then it just you see this separation it's not the best thing in the world but that's why i feel like this is going to be an amazing topper for
for my lipsticks and I'm so freaking excited. Even though it's a bummer that I can't use it by itself because of the obvious reasons, the formula is amazing. I love the formula so much. I kind of like how it feels on my lips because it's not sticky and it's really, really comfortable. I'm sure in one of my next videos I will try to use it as a topper and we will see guys how it's gonna look. But anyway, let's wipe this lip product and let's check out that lip balm that we received in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. <laughs> so I still have some pieces of glitter on my lips, but just ignore them, okay? And our last product from this Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, it's a lip shine sheer lip balm from the brand that's called... <sighs> so guys, I believe it's called Missio Beauty? Misho Beauty? So I just was trying to google it on my phone and Google search showed me a bunch of uh, nail products from this brand. If you know how to spell this brand properly, please let me know in the comments. I will be happy to know this. But we're here to check out this product, right? I got a shade Madam. And the packaging looks beautiful, except of that fact that all my fingerprints are here. This product retails for $22. And here's the shade. I feel like it's gonna look super beautiful on our lips based on our eye look today. So this formula is cruelty-free, vegan-friendly, and it's supposed to moisturize our lips based on the fact that it's a lip balm. So let's check this out. Okay, guys, so it smells so freaking good. I can't think about anything else. Just joking. So it feels really comfortable on the lips. There is pigment, as you can tell. I love everything about this. It kind of reminds me of Rare Beauty lip balms. It's the same type of vibe. If you tried her lip balms, you will know what I mean. It's literally melting on the lips. Lips feel so hydrated. I'm so, so happy with the result. And that fact that we received palette with the same shades as a lip balm. Isn't it cool? Also, this product contains jojoba oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E, which is good for softening and soothing our lips. And I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna use this product again. I feel like I'm literally gonna reapply it before going to work today. So my first impression is really, really nice. Even though $22 for a lip balm, it's kind of expensive. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, and basically that's it for today. I feel like this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was really, really cool. I can definitely tell you guys that I'm gonna keep using this lip balm from Missio, Misho Beauty. This Laura Geller blush was insanely beautiful. I fell in love with this as much as I fell in love with this Il Maquillage eyeshadow palette. The formula is super buttery. I was so impressed. I barely had any fallout. It just, it's stunning. This Nabla lip gloss is really, really cool. I feel like it's gonna work as an amazing topper for another lip product, so I'm excited to check this out on the top of lip liner or even lipstick. And I quite enjoyed this Oma Beauty liquid liner because I feel like it helps us to create really precise and beautiful wings. Shoot, I really like this month's products from my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Wow, I can't believe I'm not disappointed today, like, at all. So the total price of all of these products is $119. It's pretty good. And based on that fact that I got here a lot of really cool formulas, I'm excited and I'm happy to keep using them. Guys, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what did you receive in your Ipsy bag this month. I will be happy to know this. Also, let me know what do you think about this whole look. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and thank you for staying with me today. I will see you all guys in my next video. Love you all very much. Bye!